Hi guys, I'm Darren, PGA Professional at Halifax West End Golf Club. Are you one of those golfers that's, that we've just seen that struggles to get up and down and doesn't hit the chips with confidence? In today's video, I'm going to give you a foolproof method in how to get up and down from around them greens by giving you a simple and effective chipping technique that will help you become a better chipper. What I tend to find with golfers who struggle with chipping is generally when they have a practice swing the technique is usually okay but it's now when the nerves start to kick in that you start to worry about hitting it badly you know you haven't got any credit in the bank that says that you're a good chipper so therefore you think you're a bad chipper and so you're always worried about hitting that bad chip that poor chip you never think I'm gonna hit it well well what we need to do is, is really go back to basics and what we're talking about today is is what, what we, I refer to as toe down chipping and it's like you'll have seen we might if we struggle with chipping resort to using some of the products that's out on the market um, there's a chip ping has just brought one out the chip R um, to help with the chipping and we can re recreate that club and that setup and that the execution of that shot with the current clubs that we've got so i'm going to take my a time and what i'm going to do now is is and this this does work well with when we're playing in the conditions that we've got at the moment which are a little bit wet and you you're going to focus on rather than addressing the golf club flat we're going to just put the toe down we're going to raise the hands a little bit get the toe down and we're going to get that toe of the golf club into the back of the golf ball so we bring his hands up like that and what we're doing now is we're just going to try and recreate a putting stroke no wrists and because you're playing it off the toe it's going to have a very very dead feeling a dead so with regards to the setup the golf ball goes in the middle of your stance you have a very narrow fairly narrow stance but now it's where it's different we'll get them hands raise it up a bit and stand a bit closer to it you know you've now got your hands from here raise so they just lock lock them out a little bit and then it's just tempo so think about that putting stroke and it works really well it pops the ball onto the green and it allows it to roll out toe down chipping method is very good for when you're wanting to play a chip and run but is it any good if we need to play like we have here golf ball is below the level of the green we've not got a lot of green to play with and we've got a longer amount of fringe to get over to get onto that green and the answer to that is yes you know all we have to do is, is differ the club that we've got so I've now got my 52 degree wedge so setup is the same ball in the middle of the stance hands higher toe down but obviously we'll get a bit more swing now And it does work, work quite, quite well. So try it with different clubs. Try it around in varying situations around the green. And I'm sure if you just go back to basics, gen generate a little bit of success with your chipping, that confidence will come back and you'll start to chip a lot better. I hope you've enjoyed today's video and it helps you get up and down from around them greens a little bit more often than you currently do. If you are new to the channel and have yet to subscribe, please do consider hitting that subscription button below. I bring you weekly content a little, a little bit like this one here, which is how to master them par threes. Uh, my community um, said that them's the ones that had most problems with, hence the reason why I did a video on it. Thank you very much for watching and I look forward to welcoming you on my next video.